Hey Libra, this is going to be a general love reading for June 2021 for your Sun, Moon, Rising and your Venus signs and it is general so it's not going to resonate for all of you but you can check out one of your other signs if you want or you can book a personal reading. All that information is in the description box and do keep in mind that the roles can be reversed for general readings. Alright, so let's see what's going on with Libra, what are the overall energies? for the first half of June. All right, we have recognition and reinvention. All right, somebody is really beginning to see this connection from a different perspective, um, recognizing the connection for what it truly is. So maybe there were some illusions, some denial, and now there is recognition of that, which also leads to a reinvention when it comes to how they view this, this connection. So it could be you, it could be the other person. Let's see. Okay. <clears throat> Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So for the situation, we have the Queen of Swords crossed by the Ten of Swords. Ooh, okay. Okay, so it feels like, oh, there's an ending here. There's an ending that might feel like it is very challenging. I feel like you, I actually feel like this is you. Um, you're trying to end something basically which feels like it is painful it is painful to end this maybe you feel like you have been betrayed at the same time for some of you but it's mostly you trying to detach yourself from this from this connection for the recent past we have the nine of wands and for the near future we have the sun okay good 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 so yeah i feel like this has been a long journey for you this is a situation that may have dragged out for a while and I feel like you may have put, you or the other person, may have put a lot of effort into this but now it's just getting to this point where you're just like I want to cut this out, I just don't want to feel emotionally attached to this anymore and I do actually see you accomplishing that having the sun here, all right, in the near future. Let's see for your energy we have the six of swords, yep there you are moving away from this or at least trying to for them, we have the Four of Pentacles. More about you is the Page of Cups. For them, the Five of Wands. Potential outcome is the Seven of Pentacles. And a message for you here is the Queen of Pentacles. Oh, okay. So, yeah, you know, you are moving forward. I don't know whether you realize that or not, but this is you actually moving forward. You're moving away from this pain. You're moving away from this... Um, Feeling, feeling of betrayal or feeling that maybe you were deceived or just that there was a lot of pain and a lot of struggle with this. You're moving forward and I feel like you are following your heart. I mean, and you still have emotions here. There's still emotions, yet you're still moving forward. For them, <clears throat> with this Four of Pentacles, I feel like they're holding on to this connection. They're holding on to this and whatever it is that's going on here. They're in a lot of conflict. And it could even be that they have some external influence, but mostly I see them being conflicted and not wanting to let this, <clears throat> this go. Having the Seven of Pentacles for the potential outcome, I see things... <clears throat> I feel like there will be little things that are happening. Um, either trying to organize this, either trying to settle into some new kind of an energy. We'll see more when we clarify. But the message for you here is to definitely um, nurture yourself and take care of yourself. So let's see, let's clarify. <clears throat> So let's clarify the Queen of Swords with the Ten of Swords. Ooh, okay, got quite a few cards here. I will take them all <clears throat> because 
Well, just because. <laughs> it's more than I would normally take, though. Um, we have the Fool, we have the World, we have the Queen of Cups, the Eight of Swords, and the Page of Cups. So that is the second time that we're seeing this Page of Cups here. All right, Libra, give me a sec here. There's definitely, definitely a closing out of a cycle. You're trying to take a leap of faith. And it almost feels impulsive in the way that you're doing this, almost like jumping into the unknown because you just want this cycle to, to be done. Um, however, like I said before, you still have a lot of emotions. You still have a lot of love for this person. Which is actually also making you feel a little bit trapped, possibly, in this in this connection. So, yeah, you want to let this go. You're trying to do that because you want to close out this cycle. But it's almost as if, you know, you... you there's some fear holding you back a little bit. And if it's not fear, it's just this sense of feeling like, you know, you there is something here. And maybe there are more lessons to learn. But something just feels you, uh, feels you, does that even make sense? Something just makes you feel like you are still kind of connected with this person, still entrapped with them, even though you, you, you want to move on or move away from this. So let's clarify that Six of Swords. the nine of wands the knight the knight of wands and the high priestess so you're you're trying to follow your intuition here i feel like you know this is your intuition speaking to you telling you you know you gotta move you gotta move you gotta do something like you're just feeling this restlessness like i gotta do something i gotta move away from this nine of wands from this challenge like this has gone on long enough and it's time for this to change. It's time for me to move to something new, to start a new cycle, a new way of being. And I feel like you you are doing that. You are doing that. So even if you are feeling trapped, even if it is a little bit scary, I still see you doing that. And I feel like it's, it's leading you to the sun. So let me move on to the other person because I feel like this... This page of cups was already covered here. So let's see. Four of pentacles for the other person. Ooh, the tower, the empress, and the six of wands. Okay, so yeah, this person's not going through a very fun time at the moment. This person is having a lot of... Um, a lot of a struggle here. They're holding on to this. They feel like their world is, is just really falling apart. And I feel like, yeah, so this is who is beginning to recognize this connection more. So there may have been something in the past that they were taking for granted because now they're seeing you as this empress and they're wanting victory over you. They're wanting to, I would even say, they might be doing things trying to impress you even if it's things you, you can't really see depending on how much contact there is between the two of you or if they're just, you know, for some of them it could just be posting things on social media for you to see, but I'm just getting the sense that this person is now really wanting to impress you and they're feeling this drive to, to actually like, they're, they're seeing it like, okay, like I need to have you. Let me clarify the Five of Wands. All right, the Three of Swords, the Seven of Wands, and the Ten of Wands. Yeah, so this person's in a lot of pain. I mean, I, I do get that you have also been in a lot of pain, but I feel like you are in the process of leaving that pain behind, overcoming it, 
really listening to your intuition and, and moving forward, even if that is a challenge for you. And even if there is some fear, you're still willing to just jump into the unknown or to take this risk and let it go. Whereas this person is actually going through through the um, most difficult part of the pain right now. There's a lot of conflict, there's a lot of heartbreak. And I feel like this is actually making them want to want to fight for you. Wanting to resolve this nine of wands, wanting, wanting this ten of wands, right? Which is after that nine of wands, which is that dragged out challenge where it feels like there was just so much effort that drained you. And I feel like it may have been the same for them. And this is them wanting to lead to that, that resolution of that. There might be a little bit of resistance on their end, um, but it's because they're feeling so conflicted, almost as if they feel like, well, you know, will, will I be able to even do this? And so there might be some resistance there, but I still feel like they are willing to fight. Let's see the sun for the near future. Let's see temperance, the page of wands and the knight of swords. Okay. I feel like the more that you come into this place of balance and this place of healing, this place of finding your own light, finding your own happiness, the more that this person is wanting to communicate with you. The more restless this person gets, wanting to take charge here and have a new kind of a dynamic because I feel like with this with this page of wands and the knight of swords this is enthusiasm for something new and actually going after it um, maybe a little bit in a little bit of an impulsive way maybe not a hundred percent stable just yet I feel like it's the first steps but it's definitely this recognition of what this connection was now that they now that they're not they can't take you for granted let's see the seven of Pentacles okay so we have the three of cups judgment and the seven of swords okay yeah so this is definitely trying to put things into perspective into a new kind of a perspective i do see this as being a possible reconciliation here especially having the three of cups as well as judgment both of these cards can be a reconciliation giving a second chance wanting a second opportunity i don't know um to what extent you're actually going to take this because we also have the seven of swords so you might not really fully trust that this person um is actually not taking you for granted or that or that anything will have changed but I feel like there are going to be certain things that are kind of being organized kind of like maybe even a lot of explaining for example a lot of just organizing a lot of putting things into place trying to sort things out Okay, and I feel like that's actually going to be from your person here because they're going to want this reconciliation. They're going to want a second chance with you. Judgment is all about having um, revelations and it's also about truth. And so that is exactly that recognition and also a reinvention. It's like a rebirth. So this is definitely um, on the horizon here, or at least it's on the table. So, yeah, that's actually it. What I'm, what we're getting here with the Queen of Pentacles, though, for you, is to keep just keep 
working on yourself. Keep thinking about your own self. What is it that is in your best interest? Nurturing your own self and being independent, self-reliant. It doesn't necessarily mean that you should be cold or that, um, you know, you're going to listen to your own intuition, all right, regardless. But the more that you're working on yourself and the more grounded that you are, the sooner you're getting to this sun, to this happiness. And then once you're there, you will, you will know what to do when this person comes back around trying to ask for a second, for a second chance. Alright, Libra. So if this resonated, let's get your final oracle message. Libra. Alright, and we have time. Take time to breathe out. Alright, the disseminating moon. And I feel like that's exactly what you're doing. You're taking a step back here. You're moving away from this. And it feels like this is something that you need in order for you to really take care of yourself at this point in time. And just let everything play out. I feel like certain things will be falling into place for you, regardless of the other person. So, Libra, those are your messages. Thank you so much for watching and much love.